All right, welcome Jason Kokrek or Smash GC. An awesome round of eight under today. Gives you a total of 10 under and a tie for third. Talk us through your round of it today. Um, yeah. Um, you know, I told my caddy on, I guess, maybe the second or third hole, I was going to commit more to the target lines and the shots that I was going to hit. So um, I did just that. Got a few to, to go early to gain the confidence and, you know, went out and, you know, hit a couple quality iron shots, gave myself a lot of looks and, you know, made a few. I think there was a six, seven hole stretch there between you and Abe. There was like 12, 13 birdies. Were you bouncing off each other a bit? I think we were vibing off each other a little bit too. Um, at one point, I think on uh, three, Abe's caddy said, just fill it up, boys. So uh, <laughs> that was good. Um, you know, I think we were uh, definitely um, feeding off each other. Uh, he was making putts, I was making putts, and seemed to birdie a lot of the same holes. But, uh, you know, when you see a good quality shot into a hole, it kind of gives you the confidence to, to go do the same thing. So um, I was just happy that uh, I hit hit some quality shots, committed to, you know, the lines and targets, and, you know, had a good round. Over to Mike. J Jason, when you got finished with five, did it cross your mind, 59? You were nine under at that point with two left. Uh... Not, not really. No. Um, you know, I just trying to make birdies. Just like, you know, I don't didn't. Never, I never want to get ahead of myself. Right. Yeah, I knew I was, you know, eight nine under par. I didn't know exactly what I was, but um, yeah, I just wanted to hit some quality shots. Like I said uh, before, commit to the target lines, commit to the shot, and just, uh, you know, don't get too too far ahead of myself. What What's it like when you hit a hot streak like you did there, kind of starting at fifteen? Uh, is it is it like a different feeling than you know like a regular round? Do you feel like anything can go in? Well, yeah, I think uh, when you get a little bit of hot streak or a little bit of confidence, I think um, you, you know you're hit, you're hitting it closer. You're hitting qu quality shots, and you know once you see a few putts go in from outside of five to five to seven ten feet, um, I think that gives you the confidence that you know you're rolling it well and just pick your line pick the right speed and you know a couple once you see a couple go in you know that's kind of it, it opens the hole up pretty pretty good and then one last for me going into this week obviously brooks has won the last two events here do you guys get together and game plan as a team talk strategy do you do you kind of you know pick his brain a little bit how does that work um, every once in a while, uh, I think I'll step to the side and either watch Graham chip it around some of these spots. Uh, Brooks is, uh, I think, one of the most underrated chippers out there. I mean, it's fun to watch him chip, too. So uh, I'll every, every once in a while, I'll stand back and watch these guys where they're putting or chipping or you know hitting their sh shots from. But no, we, d we never really get together. Um, but yeah, every once in a while, if I have a question, uh, I think Brooks and I kind of hit, hit it about the same distance. So we kind of see the golf course similarly, um, just as, you know, being aggressive off the tee or bunkers we can take out of play. But no, we never really get get together and, and game plan, <laughs> anything like that. We're all uh, veteran guys. We're all play good players. And uh, I think if we, we all know how to play our own game, and I think we trust each other to, to do just that. But how much would it mean to to have another smash guy at the top of the podium there? Um, it would mean, you know, Obviously, to get uh, my first victory with Liv would be uh, amazing. But uh, you know, another team victory to move forward I, it would be would be awesome. I think uh, you know, like we said earlier in the in the presser this week, that you know we brought this team. Brooks brought this team together to uh, to to win a lot of team events, and I think uh, you'll see a, you know the four of us at the top of the leaderboard quite a bit. All right, thanks. Hey, Jason. Hi. Um, I know you went pretty low today. You're wearing the wrong I know, shirt. Sorry. Uh, uh, a few of the other guys seem to sort of struggle with their scoring compared to yesterday. How did you sort of find course conditions compared to yesterday? I think uh, you know yesterday. I, I don't. I think the wind kind of died down in the middle of the round. And I think guys kind of took advantage of that. Um, some of the holes that are normally into the wind were downwind. So uh, today was kind of uh, back to a normal wind that I'm used to. Um, but yeah, I think the pins were a little bit tougher today. Uh, but I hit it a lot better. I hit it a lot closer. Gave myself a lot of looks. So I think that's uh, that's what I saw. You know, uh, again, just kind of feeding up it off of Abe and him playing well too. So um, very very pleased with my round. Perfect. Cheers. Sure. Hi, Jason. Hi. Hey. Uh, the the group that you were in. Yeah. I mean, in a seven-hole stretch, 
you were like 14 under for the group. <laughs> how, how good was that in the conditions? Yeah, um, you know, with the with the breeze not quite as heavy as it, it, it normally can be here, uh, I think we're trying to take advantage. You know, obviously we both birdied, uh, Abe and I both birdied uh, number three. You know, we went on a nice little stretch there. I think we were both hitting it within 10 feet every hole, so I think both of us were putting it well. We saw a couple go in early. Abe, uh, you know, made a, a couple nice five to seven to eight footers to her par early, and I think he got a little bit of a – you know, a confidence boost uh, with that. Started hitting it a little bit better, and uh, I think we were both right there. So um, it was a nice, uh, nice, nice guy to feed off of. Abe's a great guy. Benji's a great guy. I mean, we had, we had a good group. Thanks, Jason. Best of luck tomorrow. Sure. Thanks. Thanks.